If you want the best sushi in town, Ju Sushi is the place for you to come. But if you want to start thinking like a banker and not a buyer, then you need to talk to Jennifer Story with the Ball Bank and Trust. Jennifer, welcome. Hi there. How are you? I'm doing fabulous now. Jennifer, I'm really nervous here because we have a banker that's talking about not thinking like a banker and helping buyers to understand how they need to purchase uh, when they're looking for a home. What makes you do that? You're, you've been in business for 30 years. Why this? Well, I started thinking one day um, about how the banks have all the money. And there's a reason the banks have all the money. And part of that boils down to our belief system about how we operate with our mortgage money. And I have looked at it through my own life and I've done research and I've teamed up with people who are really, really interested in helping our community figure out that there's other ways to do it. And there's a couple of great places to invest in, in your life. Whether that be in real estate and dirt or that's in the market. Over time, those things always work out for people. And I believe in both. I grew up in a real estate family, so I believe really heavily in real estate. Well, after 30 years of being a um, <laughs> right. size real estate professional and the banker, uh, you can really add a lot of value. Could you share with us maybe, I won't give all of the tips and secrets <laughs> away, but maybe two tips as to what we can do right now to start saving Well, I, one of the one of the first things that I would say to do is to get with a mortgage professional, with myself or someone else, um, and ask them some leading questions. You know, if I, if I wanted to save money over the life of my loan, what are those things that I would do? How would I, how would I prepare myself to become debt free? There's little things that you can do to tweak your life and your existence without changing what you spend monthly but taking that money and shifting it, and it makes a big difference. One would be changing some exemptions on your tax forms. Oh, that's pretty simple. Very simple. simple. Some things are as easy as, as calling up your car insurance and really shopping. If you only save $200 a year, where that $200 a year went would make a difference. Oh, absolutely. And we have a program you can enroll in. It's got 20 points. Um, Everything that we do is free. We have seminars that we do free. But we're really trying to get this out to the public because I believe that there's a disservice in a piece of banking where it's left off. Okay. And it's just my heart to, to get it out there. It's her heart, and you know that it's my heart as a networking diva to help you to increase the number of people that you know, increase your net worth so that you can increase your net worth. So, this sounds like it falls perfectly into our plan, uh, helping you to increase your value as well as your net worth. So if you want to get in contact with her, you're more than welcome to. Don't forget, take a look at what you've got going on right now. Your exemptions, your tax exemptions, take a look and make sure that those are current. Also, take a look at your uh, car insurance, make sure that you can save on your car insurance. There's other things that you can do as well to make sure that you're saving money because all too often we get started with those processes and three, four years down the line, we never take a look at them to make sure that we're saving where we need to. And you've heard it right here first with the Networking Diva. And we're about to enjoy some sushi. <laughs>